Welcome to Psychic Flow Radio Podcast. I am April Roan, and I am blessed to have you here with me at this time. Please follow us at aprilroan.com. You can find us on Facebook and follow hashtag Spirit Posse. Get comfortable, get situated, because Spirit is about to speak. Hi, Spirit Posse. This is your weekly forecast uh, with April Roan, a psychic medium. And I have to tell you, this week of June 29th through July 5th is definitely a different vibration. And those of you who are clairsentient, those of you who feel feelings clearly, those that are sensitive to energy, you are going to really enjoy the energy of this week. And why do I say that? Because I hold space for spirit, which means I just allow spirit to speak and I just read the energy of what is unfolding. Despite knowing what is going on in the cosmos, I'm not an astrologer. Um, You know, I did see something about summer solstice happening. So, you know, I kind of love to do these these forecasts uh, and then have you guys compare them to your astrological charts or, you know, what is going on with the planet. We all know it is Mercury retrograde still. In fact, there are multiple planets that are in retrograde right now, simply meaning they are spinning or traveling in a direction they normally don't. So there's going to be, the reason this is exciting for my feelers, is there is going to be a combination of energy this week that actually is supportive of or um, conducive for the energy of receiving a lot of, uh, there's peace, there's a little bit of warmth in the air, and it's also going to be the vibration of clarity. You know, so many of us have a hard time of tapping into our ease or our, you know, our peace in the present moment because we we have an issue with clarity. We don't know what's going on. We have a lot of mental fog. So this week is going to be really great for those who are sensitive to energy uh, because we're going to be able to block out the external a little more because there's going to be subtle shifts of positive change inside within you know it's kind of like whoa over here is kind of nice i want to entertain this a little more than all of this external hogwash and i use the word hogwash look it up it is a lot of unclear stuff unfolding so this is even more of a message to you from your entourage your guides angels and loved ones to focus on you who are you now how are you now what has changed what is powerful where can you celebrate you more where can you exercise your fifth amendment (laughs) to remain quiet you know we don't have to be the people pleasers we don't have to be uh the doers the savers this energy this week is going to allow us to just enjoy being us in our own skin which is going to be so refreshing for many of us and so that's just going to kind of bring me into the breakdown and let's do that that's where i will pull additional cards oracle cards that go into the energy of each day this week and i've gotten a lot of feedback from individuals where they've actually written down you know monday i'm going to look for this tuesday i'm going to look for this and some people have said but aren't you kind of like leading people on like telling them what to look for and i will say if you are going to challenge spirit in this message you're going to challenge spirit 
anywhere in your own life so you are here because somehow divinely you ended up here boop and <laughs> welcome and this means that you are supposed to receive this message this week so monday june 29th the energy of today is going to come from the goddess sedna which is infinite supply now please understand go back to the very beginning I went into the energy of this week overall, meaning a lot of clarity in our ability to feel our own feelings. And for those who are clairsentient, meaning clear feeling, those who are sensitive to energy naturally, this is actually going to be nice for you. You know, we're gonna be able to kind of feel a little bit of a shift and it's gonna feel good. And that first message from today comes from infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows just even practicing that thought you know there comes that awareness of "Ooh, I like that thought but heck I don't believe in it right there is where we sabotage our own ability to let life in so let's go back to that I am supplied for today and all of my tomorrows I am supplied for today and all of my tomorrows. That means whatever is unfolding today is happening for you. It isn't happening to you. And the end result is infinite supply. So just breathe that in a little bit. Let's roll into the energy of June 30th, Tuesday still hashtag the year of blessings and the energy for tomorrow is going to come directly from our divine spiritual teacher this is a life purpose uh, card it comes from the life purpose deck from Doreen Virtue and I have to say it's the first time in about 11 years I've ever pulled this card it is the spiritual teacher card and what I love about this card is it's this female angel very much cloaked in green and gold and purple but every religious sign surrounds her every religious sign and it says you heal with your classes sessions seminars this means hello light worker how is your god source higher power trying to speak through you again Remember, you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. That means all of this is divinely happening. Again, tomorrow, breathe that in from your spiritual teacher. I know some of you may not be speakers or authors or, you know, some of you maybe heal as a, as a teacher of a, an online third grade classroom right now. You know, there are ways that we are called to reach the public or a particular um, population because that is where spirit is trying to send the light. So again, get out of your way. Your path is necessary. That is going to then allow us to roll into Wednesday, July 1st. And for the first time, like almost ever, it's going to be a really weird 4th of July. But Spirit wants us to remember that it is all about independence. And as we are taking in this energy of this year of blessings, of this huge global shift of this alignment, you know, we're going in from infinite supply into spiritual teacher, you know, being the light worker, being the vessel of divine information. And it goes right into strength. So Wednesday is all about independence, I love it, and strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. You haven't been tested or challenged, you've been groomed exactly for this moment, for this week, for this year, for this part of your life. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. This means you are built and put together to go where no man has gone before. 
this is why you feel isolated sometimes. Like, why do I have to see things this way? Why do, why do I feel like I'm the only one that understands this? Because you are, and this is where you put your shoulders black back, you put your chin up, and you face forward because you're supposed to. This is where it's almost like hump day becomes the day where you step into your own leadership role instead of a follower role. You know, don't get it twisted. You know, you're here for a reason. All right, guys. And now we're going to go into Thursday. That is July 2nd. And that card is going to come from our guide deck, James Van Prague. And it is the peace deck. So, so far, all of these cards are incredibly grounding, positive reminders of who we are why we're here and what we're doing on thursday july 2nd you are reminded that you are a being of love and that you are capable of releasing all negative energy again don't get it twisted dark energy loves for us to play small dark energy needs us to be reminded that we are separate from who we are and from our source and your weekly forecast is here to remind you that this thursday you are reminded that not only are are you a being of love but you're capable of just simply releasing negative energy like hey moving forward next and I think that's kind of powerful because I think we've forgotten who we are. You know, whether you want to call it God's children, whether you want to call it the winged ones of gold, whether you want to call it old souls or empaths, or it doesn't matter what you want to label it. Take the labels off this year. You are divinely powerful. F-U-L-L. -L. That's going to take us into Friday, July 3rd. And that energy is counseling. That message is going to come from that life purpose deck. The message is counseling. And it says, again, they are addressing you being a healer. You heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathic ear. Now, please remember, I am working through over 500 cards at one time. I have multiple decks of oracle cards that have been mixed together as one large deck because it is divinely pulled. And, you know, it's kind of neat when you see this theme that I could pull lots of other cards. But again, Spirit said this week is going to be a week of peace and clarity, almost like this is good. This let this in. OK, and now I'm on it instead of questioning it and questioning it. So Friday, you heal with your kind words, wise advice and an empath, empathetic ear. This is not saying for females or for males. It's saying you all white, black, purple, green, straight, gay, trans does not matter. You God energy focused in the beautiful package and being that you are in this moment. Everything you have gone through has gone through with you, spirit, there at all moments. Getting to you at this time. Getting to you through you at this time. It's so crazy. We are beings of unlimitless, but as humans, there is nothing but time. We're very linear beings. So it's all of a sudden sometimes a conflict. You know, we are beings of love unlimited. But being human automatically brings limits. So the spirit says, stop. Get out of your head. Friday, maybe use those kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear for yourself taking us into saturday july 4th actual independence day and i like this card because it's simple it's one of james van prague's other decks uh, uh spirit decks and it's the kindness counts i think for those who are receiving this message this week you are watching a lot of our human brothers and sisters behaving in ways that are shocking and appalling we are needing love and kindness and compassion and understanding and patience now more than ever. And we're watching the bulk of humanity uh, drive itself apart. 
And this is why if you go back to all of the work that I've done from December 30th of last year, and you've listened to those live channelings, you will hear Spirit say that in 2020, many will die. There is a group of masses and this is happening. You are the balance. You are who the masses, those who jump out of the norm, those who jump away from society. You are who they will find and you will lead them. You are the balance. This is the evolutionary process. This is why you are an old soul. This is why you have awareness. And this is why you know inherently that kindness counts. You are the light that this world needs right now. And so if you are placed in some of these darkest places, this is where you open up to who you are, to yourself. Taking into July 5th, taking us into July 5th. Again, it's another life purpose deck, How a uh, card from the life purpose deck. Pretty cool because that simply means Sunday, it's time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. I love that. So like this whole week, we're dealing with in the infinite supply, spiritual teachings, being strong and courageous, healing with kind words, advice, and the ability to listen. And then spirit says, okay, and now on Sunday, you need to decide. I think that's a really great way to end this weekly forecast as we go from June into July 2020, this really amazingly crazy year of change. It's time to decide, are you living this life from your truth for your own heart's desires? Or are you going to continue to be the very reason that continues to get into your way? It is a year of liberation and it is a year of truly choosing how we want to handle the world, not how we want to see it. I think that's clear at this point. All right, Spirit Posse, I wish all of you an amazing independent week, a uh, clearly amazing message, and I ask you to be safe. You know, yes, we are a beings of our divine creation, but the numbers are still growing and they're going up and you know, our human brothers and sisters are um, not listening. We still have to be smart because we're still in body. So be safe this weekend, you know, and keep our fur babies in mind. A lot of dogs and animals, especially those on the street that haven't been rescued yet, loud sounds um, are really scary. And also keep our, our veterans in mind because of post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of times those fireworks actually set off a really, a really scary moment in their lives where they lost somebody or um, were traumatized. So keep each other in mind because you're the reason this is, this is unfolding because you're the one that gets to see it. All right, I love you. Let's end this really quickly with a breath because we can share one. Breathe in and just let go. Just let go. Let yourself be in this moment without anything pushing you. Breathe in. Open your mouth and exhale. Let go and just feel how well it feels, how easy it is. And one last breath. Breathe in. Connecting to your present moment, hold that breath, let your body absorb it and send it where it is needed. Open your mouth and dump the junk. Exhale, let go. Get ready for a really beautifully powerful week. Send me your feedback. I am enjoying all of the information coming back to me about how you are experiencing these weekly forecasts. I love you. I think you're amazing. And I am thankful for you and your old soul because you are braver than you realize and you are needed more than you know. All right, guys. Spirit Posse on. I'll talk to you later. As always, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your world. 
and I welcome you and invite you to be a part of mine. Visit me at aprilrone.com or breathewithapril.com and allow me to continue to inspire your journey one step at a time. And technically to my spirit posse members, remember, we are lifting humanity one heart at a time. Today, may this heart be yours.